before Pro Tools 11, we had to use Pro Tools and the 11 rack editor within Pro Tools in order to load or even save our 11 rack rigs. That is no longer the case. I thought I'd go ahead and make a video showing us using the standalone 11 rack editor in order to load 11 rack rigs that you download. So this video will show you how to download 11 rack rigs from the internet and how to load them onto your 11 rack so you can actually hear them. As mentioned, you no longer need to use an integrated 11 rack editor. You can use the free standalone 11 rack editor. In fact, you don't even need Pro Tools at all. All right, so we already have the 11 rack editor popped up here. Next thing to do is head to some website where you will download some 11 rack presets. One of the popular ones is 11 rack presets.com. You can come through here and scan through the rigs and you can click on one of the names and download it. They also offer one it all. You got it all. You can download all of the 11 rack rigs that are currently on this website if you want to do it that way as well. Another place to go is, of course, my own 11 rack blog site where I have almost 5,000 rigs that I've made. Uh, myself here. I also offer download all the rigs in one click, or you can go through here and come through and download just the uh, rig packs that you want. Now I do things a little bit differently than than 11 presets.com does. As you can see, they usually have just like single rigs here. What I do a in a lot of my rigs, I make packs, you know, big packs. So there's, there's 14 rigs in this one pack. So you're downloading a lot more than just uh, one rig at a time in most, you know, in, in, in most cases, as you can see, 104, 216, 54, 20, 22. All right, so on and so forth. And we'll get to that in just a minute. So we could pop in here and we could just download all the rigs at once. There they are. Or we could always go back and say, maybe I just want these hate rigs right here. And we could download those. Okay, so now we have downloaded several rigs. How do we actually use those with our Avid? 11 rack. Well, that's what we're going to do right now. As you'll notice here in the standalone editor, you need to go ahead and have that open. Of course, your 11 rack has to be plugged in to your computer. You need the driver installed. You'll need iLock license manager installed. You don't need to iLock, just the license manager has to be installed. Sometimes you might need QuickTime installed if you're on Windows. Uh, and of course, 11 rack is powered on and whatnot. So right here under the title bar, click this button. You'll see load from computer. That is how you load one single rig from your computer onto your Avid 11 rack. Now you can't do this from the 11 rack itself. It has to be from the standalone, or you can still use the integrated editor if you have previous versions of Pro Tools, but you'll need to use the 11 rack editor. But let's pop in here and we'll take a look at the rigs that we downloaded. So here they are. And here's some rigs I just pulled over that I already had uh, already had saved and uh, backed up. So for my rigs, I'll have to extract them first. So we'll go ahead and extract that. It'd be really, really quick process. And then we'll just extract the all just for funsies, don't really need to do this, being that I already have them backed up, but. Okay, so now our rig packs that we downloaded from my uh, blog site are now completely unzipped. So now we're ready to go ahead and try to load these up to our 11 rack. So I'll come back to your 11 rack editor, click right here in your title bar, and first we'll do load from computer. This will load one single rig from the computer. Now we'll need to navigate to wherever we downloaded those rigs to, or wherever we happen to move them and store them at. So we have them in our downloads folder. We'll just grab one right here, hit open. And there you go. That is also reflected on our 11 rack, by the way. Now, as you can see, we loaded this in the M1 slot. That is the slot we were on whenever we chose load from computer. Now, if I were to say, go to another rig, so I'll just hit the button there. All right, and then we'll go back to M1. Hmm, our rig, our rig's gone. That's because whenever you use load from computer, it doesn't save that rig onto the 11 rack. It simply loads it onto the 11 rack. So if you want to save it, do load from computer, choose your rig, whatever it is, click open. And now to ensure that we don't lose our rig, if we happen to change rigs, we'll go ahead and save this. So we'll just click save, save to 11 rack. At this point, you can name it. You can save it to a different position if you want. So we don't have to save it to M1. I could save it to uh, A1 there, hit OK. And there we go, it flips us over to A1 that's also reflected on our Avid 11 rack. And if we go back here to M1, you can see we have the original rig that was already there. It's still there, all right? So that is the basics of how you download 11 rack rigs and how you actually load them onto your 11 rack by using that load from computer. We'll do it again, we'll go load from computer. Let's just choose another one here, another single rig, click open. There we go, and say we play through this rig, we like it, we'll go and click save, say to 11 rack, I don't want to overwrite the one I just put on there, so I'll put it in position two. Okay, and there we go. Now, 
we switch to this one, it's saved, switch to this one, it's saved. All right, so that's the basics of loading a single rig that you have downloaded. Now, what about what I talked about before about rigs that you download that are in a pack? And by that, I mean, they come with an XML file, which you can see is right here, an XML document file. Now you can open up this XML file in say Dreamweaver. Uh, I believe you can open up in, you should be able to open up with code if you have that. It's a free lightweight, uh, basically computer programming interface, IDE. Uh, don't worry about that. You can download it for free. It's a, it's a pretty cool uh, piece of software. You can actually open this in Notepad. It just, it's not gonna make uh, very much sense as you can see there, <laughs> okay? It's a lot easier to read, a lot easier to program this if you're using something like, something like Dreamweaver or something like that. But that's what I mean by things that come in a pack. So for my rigs that I give you in a pack, you could load them singly, you know, just as we've done. So load from computer, we're in downloads. We'll go to say this folder here and we'll just pop into one of these here. Let's go into a big one. So 432 rigs in here. And we'll go in here. There is an XML file in here, but maybe I just want just that rig. We can do that, open it up. And there it is. Of course, that's reflected on our Avid 11 rec as well. But what if I want to load up all of those rigs that we downloaded, say all of the hate rigs maybe, or no, let's, let's actually choose something else being that those are already on there. So maybe we'll want to load one of these other rig packs here. So we can do that. And in order to do that, we'll use the other command called load all rigs from computer. Now, whenever you use load all rigs from computer, it's going to load all rigs from computer. So it's going to overwrite, depending on how many rigs there are, possibly everything that is already on your 11 rack. Okay, so be certain that you probably come in here and you want to say save all rigs to computer before you do this. If you happen to have something on here that you haven't already backed up to your uh, computer hard drive. So we'll go ahead and do load all rigs from computer. And now, as you can see, it's showing me just that XML document. Let's navigate somewhere else. Let's come back here and let's go for the war rigs. And we'll go for these. And you can see it's only showing me the XML file. It's not showing me the TFX files at all, just the XML. Okay, so I'll just select that, hit open. Now it's going to load all the patches. This will take just a few seconds. And okay, there we go. Looks like nothing happened. Look at our 11 rack. It looks like nothing, uh, nothing happened. But if we actually check in here on our user category here, because that's where we load our rigs to, you can't load them to the factory. Those are always going to be the same. So in our user patches, ah, oh, look at that. They are loaded, even though it's still reflecting the one that was on there previously. If we actually check in here, you can see they are loaded and not only are they loaded but they're saved so i can choose one and of course if i switch to another rig and switch back it's still there so that acts a little bit differently uh than whenever you load them uh, you know one by one so if you load them one by one and i would just choose say just a rig just pop in here just grab this open that loads just that rig it doesn't save it it just loads it so when i switch it goes back to my war pack that we previously loaded up. So whenever you use that load all rigs from computer, it's going to automatically load them and save them to your Avid 11 rack. It will overwrite everything that is already on your 11 rack, of course, depending on how many rigs there are in the file. Keep in mind, you may want to do a backup, okay? Save all rigs to computer. Go ahead and do that backup before you use load all rigs from computer. That way you won't overwrite anything that you may have forgot to back up. All right, so that's the basics. If you want to load one rig at a time, use load from computer and choose that TFX file. If you want to load a giant pack of rigs, like we have, I actually have this down, open down here. If you wanna load a big pack of rigs all at one time, something that comes with the XML document there, then in that case, you would use load all rigs from computer. And once again, that's gonna overwrite everything on your Avid 11 rack. Okay, now before we go, I just wanna talk a little bit about uh, you know, backing up your rigs. Whenever you save your rigs, don't just download them, right, from my website or 11rackpresets.com. Don't just download them, uh, load it up on your 11 rack, and then just leave them in your downloads folder. You really should have a dedicated place where you save all of your rigs. I have all of my rigs here that I've ever made here, all saved here, so that way if I make a mistake, if I overwrite something on my 11 rack, I'll always have the backup here, plus I have them online, you know, OneDrive, Google Drive, whatever. So just make sure you actually save the rigs to the computer. Uh, always do that backup. If you don't have a backup, you could end up overwriting something uh, that you end up needing somewhere later on, okay? So that is how you download rigs from the internet or maybe some that you get from your friend or whatever and load one rig at a time using a load from computer or load all rigs from computer, load 
up to 104 rigs at one time into the user slots by using load all rigs from computer. And the only way to do that, once again, the rigs that you download or, or that you are given, they must come with an XML file. If they don't have the XML file, then you can't do load all rig from computer, okay? They got to have this XML file. All right, so that is how you download 11 rack rigs from the internet and how you load them and save them on your Avid 11 rack.